Welcome into the shop. This is where I make things. So I've got an old uh, South Bend lathe from the 50s. It's a 10 inch heavy. I've got a 1947 Van Norman milling machine. Now we don't have three phase power in the shop here. So I've got variable frequency drives that I've set up to run both the spindle and the motion motor on that. And the same with my old uh, Walker Turner drill press. I love this old thing. I've set it up so that the start button turns on the power to the variable frequency drive. And then from here, I can change the speed of the spindle and everything. So, but I am here next to my collection of air horns. Two of those are going on Victoria, the the old cab over engine truck. But what I'm here to show you today is that the decals, the stencils arrived. I get these from decalboy, decalboy.com. Kind of a silly name, I admit, but they're in California. I ordered these on Tuesday and they arrived yesterday, Friday, uh, super fast. These are solvent resistant stencils that I'll use with the uh, one shot black paint. Let me open this up. So inside that tube, we have two sets of stencils. So we live in Northern Arizona. We're between Flagstaff and Williams, and we back up to the Garland Prairie. But this area used to be known as, or was originally known as Antelope Spring. And so we have the Antelope Spring Farm. We've got this on uh, steel over the entry to our chicken yard where we got 40 some odd chickens. So anyway, in keeping with the old farm truck uh, theme, I ordered in a Western font, Antelope Spring Farm, slightly curved, if you can see that, if that's not just showing up as distortion, and then established 1961. I've got two sets of these. So this is how it'll go on the door. I'll peel the paper off the back like that. Ooh. This is just slightly sticky, tacky. That will stick on the door. And then I'll peel off this cover sheet. And then I've got a good masking surface there I can use with the one-shot paint. Paint these on, let it cure for a few days, and then we'll age that paint. This is the painting stuff. This is the painter. So this is Ruby, my daughter. She will be 14 next week. And she's going to paint using the One Shot Sign Painters paint. It's pretty amazing stuff, very durable. It is, it says on here, to be used only by a trained professional. Are you a trained professional? <laughs> okay, well, we'll give it a shot. Cheap brush, that's all we need. Okay. All right, so I'm using a little lacquer thinner and a rag just to clean all the residue off just because there's paint from when I sanded this and rust, hydrogen peroxide. And it smells weird. Yeah. Some people sniff this stuff and it kills brain cells. Don't do that. I wasn't going to. Alright, we'll let that dry. And you can stop. Okay. Inch and three quarters down. Two inches from the to the door.
Can you record and put one hand here? A little lower. Are you recording your henna? I guess so. And then, hang on, I forgot how far down. Two inches to the established 1961. That's the year you were born in. That's the year I was born in. All right, will you hold, put a hand here. And then, great. Probably have to come in with. Do you want me to switch hands? Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Okay. From the bottom, just like that. Watch your thumb. Thank you. All right. Cool. Same thing. Flip it up now. You peel the paper off. On this little one, it's not as critical, I guess, that you just start at the top and work your way down. This is actually a coat tape, but it just works well and doesn't leave residue. Sticks to a lot of surfaces. That's going to look cool. And then I'll do a little bit of pinstriping between these. All right. You gotta peel the paper back from the corner and really come down. If you pull straight off, it'll pull the masking, the stencil off the side. So you kinda wanna do just a sharp angle down. Kinda like a sticker. What's that? Kinda like a sticker. Kinda like a sticker. Here's a sticker. That's awesome. Make sure all the edges around the letters and numbers are flat. Go slow on this. See, it already wanted to peel that corner up. Once you get it started. Oh, thanks. I was going to use that. Don't worry about, see it peel that corner up here just a bit. Don't worry about that because you can stick it back down. 
just like that. So you peel that up. Probably want to be careful with the little, little bits right there because that'd be kind of hard to get back in the right place. It's still oh. slow, so see. Now hold that corner down. Anytime you come to a corner, just go slowly. By design, this stuff is not as sticky as vinyl lettering. Good so far. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's awesome. I'm pretty excited about this. You're excited about a lot of things. Like what? What excites me? Buses. Buses. Is that weird? I guess it depends on who you are. I used, bless you Janelle, I used the same stencils from Decal Boy, oh, the first time I think was seven or eight years ago when we did the F-bomb truck. Oh, I remember that. Well, it wasn't really a truck, it was the ambulance. The ambulance. Yeah. Keto one. So, bubbles down here don't matter, but any bubble near the edge is a place where paint could leak under, yep. All the edges of the letters nice. Nice and flat. Yeah, make sure they're stuck down. If you have a bubble, you can work it. So you gotta just squeeze it. Squeeze it away. So, not worried about that one. As long as all the edges are down. So there's, there's a, a bubble. One right there. Otherwise, the paint will leak under. Right 
on. That's going to be awesome. Make sure all these edges are stuck down. Both directions. This is coming up just a bit. Don't pay too hard so you don't accidentally take one of the stickers off. Bristle yeah. coming off. Oh, I thought that was a hair. Are you going to seal it later with something? Nope. Don't need any sealant. Almost forgot. Oh. Uh, Well, it's not going to be used a lot. E. Learned your letters. <laughs> Learned them a while ago. There you go. Side to go. All right. Let me this off. I gotta get my pick. So you can get up a little. A little bit. Nineteen sixty.
Just the dust makes it up. It's actually rust. Oh, it is? Yeah. Yay. That looks really good. Yeah. bit of bleed through down here that wasn't sticking very well where it's rusty but I will clean that up after it's dry. <coughs> Next thing is we're going to add a little pinstriping and then sand that so any imperfections really aren't huge. Let's go do the other side and you can paint this one. Yay. Don't need too much paint, so wipe that off on the rim a little bit. There you go. The only thing you gotta be careful of is you don't get it outside the mask down in here. That'll be... Yeah, you're good. And then after you get done, oh, wait, here, let me, let me borrow this for a second, because you got, we'll just go up like that, see, it's, oh, 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 save it, little, little more paint than we need, so after you get done, just go over it like this, you know, one direction, yeah. not like the band, do you like that band? Or you hold that. What are you doing, Ruby? Painting. What are you painting? On the side of a truck. Yeah, you'll need more paint on the brush there. I just want to make sure I get most of it off before. Oh, before it runs? Yeah. <laughs>
does lay down pretty nicely. It tends to flow. There were big brush marks in this and it really just flows out nicely, so. So, which side came out better, the one I did or the one you did? Mine. Why? Because I'm a drawer, so I'm, <laughs> I have more steady hands than you do. <laughs> steady here. Okay. If you don't see her in any other videos, you, you now you know why. As part of the aging process for this, I went over it with a little bit of fine sandpaper. And then what I like to use is this steel wool, stainless steel, uh, scrubby pad. It's a, a commercial kitchen dish and pot scrubber because it leaves little scratches in it without making a whole bunch of sort of uniform scratches like rough, uh, like 60 grit or 40 grit sandpaper would do. This sort of leaves random scratches more like might happen in life, if that makes sense. Anyway, I think it's a pretty cool look, so I'm going to work on that a little bit.